187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. That bum took a swipe at me. What's with that getup of yours anyway? I should start introducing us as Detective Earl. And this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. They me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat rod at five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. You can drive. Can you drive to this one? You seem distracted. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for, so what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Thanks. Mal will be pleased. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. The autopsy will confirm it one way or another. Not much help. Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? Or can we get on with this? Relax, Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Hear, hear. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Phelps? Mal, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. Take a closer look at her head and neck. The neck is bruised pretty badly. Bruising on the forearms and these look like bite marks. Very good.
very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. It spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Sorettes. It would make my theory. The morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Sorettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. This is her. All the English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. Looks like barbiturates. is rattling around in this thing. We should speak to a doctor. Describing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Place to start. I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julie. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. What are you hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julie was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. You've seen the pillbox, the things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always new clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star. A princess. Does modeling really pay that well? Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Where would we find him? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home.
Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I know that Galloway can't handle the dope. You're behind the wheel. Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years.